welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do my summer essentials and I wanted to come outside and do it because it wasn't super sunny out because when it's super sunny out it's really hard to film out here. Um, it is extra hot out here though so I may cannonball into the pool before the video is over. Eh. Perhaps. So yeah, I just wanted to do my summer essentials. I kind of have a lot of products here, but they are, some of them are makeup, most of them are just fun stuff. My number one summer essential is water. You want to make sure to keep yourself hydrated, especially if you live in a hot climate like I do. It's just going to drain all your body of its fluids, so you want to make sure to keep lots of water with you. If you want to make it more fun, you can do infused water, like you could put raspberries in here, mint leaves, you could put lemons in here, anything you want. Me right now, I'm just drinking a regular old H2O. Clearly the first thing that I'm going to mention is sunscreen. Now I have a couple of different kinds of sunscreen here because you want to protect your skin without a doubt. It's the only skin you'll ever be in, so you want to take good care of it. Um, I have the Neutrogena Clear Face here, which I really love for my face because it is broad spectrum. It has SPF of 55 in it. Also, it won't cause breakouts because it's really lightweight and it doesn't leave a white cast on your face, which is nice because sometimes it feels like you're blending in sunscreen forever. This one doesn't do that to you. Then for my body, I like to use these ones that are spray because you will you can just cover a lot more skin in a shorter period of time. I'm actually going to just spray some all over me right now. This is from Copper Tone. This is the Clear Sheer. It's for beach and pool and it has an SPF of 50 in it. I like anything over 50. Um, I'm not trying to burn my skin or anything like that. Like I said, I want to take really good care of it and step one of that is just protecting yourself from the harmful UV rays. So um, these are really nice because they just are easy to apply and you're good to go. This is really fast absorbing and it lasts for 80 minutes. So after 80 minutes of wear, you're gonna wanna reapply. This one is Sunbum and this is SPF 30. This is great to just keep in your bag for everyday use. So if you just forgot to put sunscreen on way in day, I like to just rub it on like my hands or something and then apply it to my face because I find that this is a little rough on my face. I like this guy because he smells like banana and he's just cute and compact. And there's no excuse not to wear your sunscreen. You need it in your life. Don't try to skip it protect your skin. So now that your skin is nice and protected from the sun, we all like to be bronzed and glowy and tan in the summertime, but we don't want to be laying in tanning beds or we don't want to be laying out in the sun because it's damaging to your skin. Now you can totally lay out in the sun, you can totally go to the beach, go to the pool with your friends and everything. Just make sure you put on SPF. To get a nice summer glow in the summertime, I just love using self tanners. So the one that I've been using is the Million Dollar Tan Mermaid Mousse. Oh my god. I am going to do a demo on it for you guys very soon because I've seen lots of questions about my self tanning routine in the summertime because I don't know if you guys have noticed but I've been looking real tan lately. <laughs> This stuff, like I said, is the bomb. I've always loved a million dollar tan. It's just phenomenal in my opinion. The color is really great. It doesn't turn you orange or anything like that. And I feel like the coverage is really nice. Like you get a really even coverage without leaving your skin like blotchy or patchy or anything like that. Um, the original spray form has always been my favorite. And then when they came out with the mousse form, it just blows like everything out of the water. It's so easy to apply and it just gives you this beautiful golden goddess glow to you. And it's super safe. You're not damaging your skin and you're not sitting out and baking in the sun for hours at a time. I love Sorry if the light goes in and out but I am outside and I also really love to use the Sally Hansen airbrush legs in the summertime. If I am being a little lazy on my self tanning routine and I have to go somewhere and I'm like oh, I have these little pasty white legs. This stuff is amazing. It's like makeup for your legs and it gives such a beautiful color to your legs. It really looks like you're wearing pantyhose. It covers all imperfections in your legs. If you have bruising, scarring, anything like that, it's going to cover it up and just make your legs look so flawless, so perfect and so summer ready. So absolutely love this stuff. How I apply it is I like to take a um, um, latex glove and just spray it in the glove and then apply it otherwise you could just spray it in your hand and rub it and then you're just gonna have to wash your hands afterwards and just by using the glove it's just killing two birds with one stone it just makes it a lot easier on yourself so you're not gonna have to have like gross stuff all over your hands and it just protects your hands as well and this stuff is also water resistant I've been using this stuff for years I've never had any issues with it it's never rubbed off on my clothes or my sheets or anything like that it just washes off in the shower like a good little product should Next are a few just kind of basic summer essentials for me. I am super into bright color nail polish. 
These are all from China Glaze. I didn't mean to pull all China Glaze polishes. I was just pulling bright color polishes from my drawer. I think these are from their new collection. I'm not sure. Who doesn't like bright color nail polish in the summertime? And sometimes when you just can't make up your mind, you just have to do one color here and one color here. So in the summer, if you're going to wear makeup, uh, like a foundation, I recommend wearing something light coverage. If you're someone that can get away with wearing a BB cream, girl, you go. But for me, I don't know, just BB creams and me just, we don't really like each other, I don't think. Like, we just haven't spent enough time together and, I don't know. We just haven't established a good relationship. Usually I don't really wear a lot of makeup in summer because I am more tan and I feel like when you're more tan you can get away with wearing a lot less makeup. Um, but if I do want a little bit of coverage, I like something really lightweight and this is just perfect for me. This is the Magic Nude Liquid Powder. I've mentioned it a bunch of times on my channel but I just think it is perfect for summer. As you can hear, it's super, super lightweight. It's pretty much like a liquid and then it dries to a powder on your face and it gives you such amazing coverage for being so lightweight feeling on your face. I just find that it's going to be perfect for these super, super hot months. And the great thing about this one is it does have a light SPF in it. It has SPF of 18 in it. So you're gonna get a little bit of protection. I like to be really glowy and just shimmery and just feel like you're just like radiating from within. I like to achieve that by just using highlighting powders. My favorite at the moment is from Becca and it is called Moonstone. I know last time I kept calling it Moonshine, which I honestly always want to call it Moonshine, but it's totally Moonstone. And it's just this beautiful, like, white champagne-y highlight. The highlight that I have on my cheeks at the moment. Those are a little on the pricey side, so you don't have to splurge on stuff like that. This is a great one from NYX, and it's actually like a bronze shimmer color. So you just kind of swirl all the colors together. It blends beautifully into your skin so that you can't really detect that you have any kind of powder on your face just by swirling them all together. This is the Radiant Finishing Powder from NYX. Also also, I like to use the BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream from Gerard Cosmetics. Now this, I don't like to put all over my entire face because I feel like I already have oily skin, so I just find it feel like it's just a little too much for me. But what I do like to do is just pop it on the highest points of my cheekbone and then set it with a highlighting powder. And it just gives you this really beautiful, glowy look, which I absolutely love. It's just like an illuminating facial cream. So that you can mix this with your foundation if you want, just to kind of give you an all over glow or like I said, just apply it how I apply it. I'm all about having really healthy, glowing looking skin in the summertime, so this is a great product to kind of fake the funk, if you know what I mean. So next, this is a proactive nourishing facial primer from Too Faced. This is their Hangover Replenishing Facial Primer. This is a silicone-free primer. It also has coconut water, electrolytes, and probiotics in it. I'm sorry. Oh, here comes a plane. It revives your skin, it boosts the radiance in your skin, it also helps the elasticity in your skin. It is amazing. You notice such a difference immediately when you put it on your face. I like to wear this with makeup, without makeup, in the morning, at nighttime. I put this on my face as much as I can just because one, it smells amazing and two, you notice your skin look way healthier when you do apply this to your skin. So have been loving this and again, I'm not sure if it's called Hangover Prescription, Hangover RX, just Hangover, but it's from Too Faced and it's the bomb. Next are dry shampoo and and dry conditioners. These are great if you're leaving the beach or if you're doing some kind of summer activity outside and you just have to go somewhere right afterwards and your hair is kind of looking a little not so good. So dry shampoo is going to help eliminate any oil or greasiness that you have at the root of your hair. Also, um, dry shampoo is great if you just need a little refresh to your hair, you want it to look a little more fuller and a little more fluffy, then this is great for that. Dry conditioner is great for when you've been at the beach all day and your hair is just kind of a little dried out from all the sun rays and the salt water. This is great to just go ahead and spray in your hair. As you can see, it's dry, same as dry shampoo. And this is just going to put a lot of moisture back into your hair without getting your hair wet. So absolutely love these in the summertime. Um, this one is from Ulta, and I picked this one up at my local salon. But it's from Pureology, so you can probably find it at Ulta as well. Million Dollar Tan All That Shimmers Dry Oil Shimmer. Dry oils are great because they absorb into your skin really quickly, and they're not going to leave you like super greasy feeling. This one also has a little bit of tint to it, so it's going to give you um, a great bronzy kind of glow to your skin. It absorbs really quickly into your skin and just makes your skin look super radiant, super healthy, super shimmery and glowy. I've just noticed that just be a little bit careful with this. Make sure that it is completely dry and you've rubbed it really good into your skin before you do get dressed. Otherwise, you may get a little bit on your clothing, um, but nothing that won't wash out with soap and water. So love, love, love this stuff. 
as you can see. Well, I guess it's kind of hard to tell since I have a huge henna on this arm. So another dry oil that has no color in it is from number seven, and this is the Pampering Dry Oil Spray. This I really like because, again, it absorbs really quickly into your skin, and it smells really good as well. <laughs> um, it absorbs really quickly into your skin, and the sun's going to dry out your skin, the heat, everything. So you want to make sure that you're keeping your skin not only protected with sunscreen, but also that you're keeping it hydrated. And oh my god, this stuff smells and it's hypoallergenic if you do have sensitive skin. I'm just someone that not is not really into applying lotions because I feel like they're just heavy and I don't like a greasy feeling. So that's why I really like dry oils because you're getting the hydration that you need to your skin, but it's not gonna feel heavy and it's not gonna feel greasy on your skin, which is a double bonus for me. Moving on to lip balms. I really am obsessed with lip balms. I only grabbed a handful of them, but ones with SPF are going to be great for you because lips are a really easy thing to get burned and you don't even really notice it because you're licking your lips, you're drinking, you're eating with them, and you're just not really paying attention. So you want to find something that has an SPF if you're going to be outside because there's nothing worse than super dry sunburned lips. So my favorite for that is the soft lips, and this has an SPF of 15 in it. I do believe you can find them with a higher SPF in them. Now if you do happen to get really dry sunburned lips one day, this stuff is amazing. This is the Ultra Repair Lip Therapy from First Aid Beauty. I like to apply a heavy coat of this before I go to sleep at night just so that my lips are getting the the moisture that they need they're being repaired while I sleep and this also has no petroleum in it and it is also allergy tested and fragrance free oil absorbing sheets are my best friend pretty much all year round but especially in the hotter more humid months because in Florida it is super humid so it just makes it feel a lot hotter than it is and oil absorbing sheets are great because they are going to remove any excess oil from your face and if you do happen to have makeup on they're not going to affect the makeup on your face these are all natural these are 20 24-7 oil control blotting tissues and they are rose powdered so if you don't I mean they're pretty self-explanatory you're just going to tap your face and then you can see like all the oil that comes off your face which I actually need these really right now because oh girl is looking a little delicious I find these at Ulta and I like these a lot better than the Clean and Clear. The Clean and Clear ones are a little, like the papers are a little um, like plasticky feeling to me and I like ones that feel more like a tissue. And they have tons of different kind of scented ones. They have like la lavender, chamomile, these happen to just be rose because have we met, I like rose. And last but not least for the summertime, you're going to need shades. So I like to use, I like to wear fun colored ones because when can you wear these? You kind of look weird if you wear these when it's like dead winter time and you just have like these super bright shades on. So I like to save all my fun colorful ones for the summer because summer's fun and hot and we like to wear bright colors in the summertime. So that is it for my summer essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed and picked up a few things. Remember to keep your skin hydrated, keep your skin protected, and just have fun. So I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys. <clears throat> hey guys. Is that plane really loud? Oh, mama is hot. <laughs> Put some hot sauce on your burrito, baby. They're terrified. Is this recording? Yeah, peepos. Peepos? Oh. We don't like people around him. I need this bun. This chair. <laughs> Woo, your girl is hot. BRB. Probiotics are here. Yeah? This has probiotics in it. Oh, I just got so much dry conditioner in my mouth. <laughs> <sighs> I broke my bubble machine.